Hi, my name is Kevin, and I'm going to lead you through the quick installation of the Yi framework. Okay, we're going to start by just going to yiframework.com and click on the Downloads tab. From there, I'm going to go ahead and download the tar.gz um, source code. So once this is downloaded, uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take this folder, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to move it to my Apache virtual host, um, or my Apache document root, which in this case is located at data web vhosts. And I'll go ahead and paste my uh, folder there. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this. I don't really care what revision it is. It's 10, 0, 10, or 1, 0, 10. Okay. Okay, from here you'll see that, um, you know, we have the demos folder, which, yes, as you guessed it, contains demos. Uh, we have the framework folder, which contains, you know, the framework code. Um, we have requirements, which basically you can um, use this just to check to make sure that your server is compatible with this. So I'm going to take and start and just copy the requirements folder and rename it to local.e.com and I'm going to go ahead and set up Apache on my virtual host to respond to local.e.com Okay, I'm going to save that, and I'm going to go ahead and open up my host file, which, if you're not familiar, your host file is basically the, the first place your computer is going to look to resolve any um, domains or DNS things. So I'm going to go ahead and create an entry here that maps 127.0.0.1 to local.e.com. Now 127.0.01 is your computer's loopback IP, which pretty much, um, no matter what other um, IP addresses, whether it's public IP or whether it's a, um, a local IP, you're still going to have your 127.0.0.1, so that's why I'm just going to use it in this case. So when I go to local.e.com, for example, if I ping that, it's going to show 127, which is this computer. Cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and restart Apache so that my new virtual host is going to respond. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull up local.e.com, which should take me to my requirements page. OK, the requirement checker came up. And as you can see, my PHP version passed. Um, everything passed except for my PDO Postgres SQL extension, which I don't really use that. So I'm not too worried. Memcache, at this point, I'm not going to use that either. And my sub extension. I can always install that later if I need it. But I don't have any big red failed. The red failed indicates that you cannot run it on your server. So. Now that I have the requirement checker, um, now that I know that it's passed, which I knew it was going to be, but um, the application has told me that indeed it finds everything it needs, I'm going to go ahead and create a web application in that directory. So I'm going to go to my, um, my local.e folder, which is data web vhosts, and then local.e, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and remove everything that's in there, because I'm going to install a web app there. Actually, let me just remove the whole folder. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to pop into the um, framework folder that came with E. And you'll see this command right here, the YIIC. That's, um, that's E's um, command line 
program that we're going to use. And for this, there's there's two main um, actions that this will respond to. One would be web app, and then the other one would be shell. But we'll get to that later. We're going to start right now with just creating our basic web app. So we'll do e web app, and then the second parameter is going to be the location that you want to you want to install it to. So we're going to go to data web the host local dot .com. Create a web application under yes. Okay. Okay. My web application has been created successfully. We're going to go ahead and try this again, and you get my web application home, you get the contact page, um, and then you have login. So, okay, cool. First step is done, and we have ye installed. We have a basic, um, the basics web app installed, and we're good to go. Okay.